guys, it's Jen, and I am here to show you how I'm going to create this little kind of gratitude list. I'm just feeling like I needed to document some things that I'm thankful for in my life right now. And so I'm going to be using the new, well, they're new in September, Ali Edwards digital files that are called uh, Just Thankful, I believe. And I'm going to be using a few of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some little cards. I'm using a a page protector that is for baseball cards and so they're about two and a half by three and a half just a little larger than that that I'm going to be creating here and so I have this little um, this little file open that's sized to two and a half by 3.6 is what I did and I'm going to be creating some of my own cards so I'm going to create a bunch that just say I am thankful for and I'm going to be using um, I have it open here maybe. Oh, I think it's with my photo. So I'm going to be just be using a photo of myself that's a little bit, um, I've just changed it black and white. It's a kind of current photo. And then I'm going to be using, I'm going to be making my own cards with this I am thankful for, and then it says blank, and I'm just going to fill in the cards. But I'm also going to be creating some filler cards that uh, will will one for the front and one for the back of the page protector. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to create the filler cards first. And I, because I'm using a photo that's pretty much black and white, I can make them any color that I want to. So what I'm gonna do is take this first file, so much to be thankful for, and I'm gonna change the color of the words so that I can create my own little card here. And so the way that I like to do this is to go to Image, Adjustments, and then I go to Hue Saturation, and then you can click on Colorize, and if you move the little slider on the lightness, you'll see that um, you can now color this whatever color you want. So you just move the sliders around until you get a color that you like. And I'm going to do kind of like a bluey color, um, maybe a little bit more saturated and a little bit lighter, okay? And when I get it to a color that I like, I'm just going to drag it over to my little card here and it's going to be a little bit too large so I'm going to size it down. I'm just going to hold down my shift key and use the little corners there and drag it till, till it's the size that I want and I think I want it to be centered on the card but I want there to be enough room around it so that um, it has a little bit of resting space. So that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and check that box and now what I think I want to do is fill in the background card a like the background of the card, I wanna make it a color. And so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm just going to go to my paint bucket tool and I'm gonna click on my color picker window and I'm just going to choose a color. So I kind of want this to be a really soft uh, blue color, I think. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, I really like that and I actually like the white spaces in the words and so I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, I think I might try to make this a little bit darker. Hold on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is step backward because um, I want the background color to be filled with the blue, not the layer that I have uh, with the words on it. And so I will just fill in the background. And that is actually gonna make it so those letters aren't white, but that's okay. I think I actually do want them to be open. So I'm going to make this layer a little bit darker. And so I'm just going to go to adjustments, hue saturation again, and I'm going to make it a little bit darker. There we go. Okay. So that's perfect right there. So I have one card done. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to open a new template and here it, it's already customized to the size that I had the other one. And Let's go ahead and make one more little filler card. So I think what I want to try to do is use, I'm going to minimize these so they're out of my way. Use this one, giving thanks for this imperfect and wonderful life because it's just really fitting. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on either the bottom of, or the top of the card and leave some space uh, so that I can like put an embellishment or something like that. So I think for this one, what I'll do is I'm gonna drag it on first and size it. 
and just going to size it down. So this will be a lot smaller and that's okay. That's a good size, I think. So I'm going to just move it now. I think I want it to be at the top. Mm, maybe I want it to be at the bottom. Maybe I want it to be right here. So I kind of like that it's not completely at the top or bottom and then I could put like a little heart or a star or something right above it and that will work out well. So I think for this card I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. I think I'm going to color this one in as well. So what I'm going to do is first color the words. So I'll just go ahead and go to hue saturation. I'm going to lighten it. I'm going to colorize it. And I think that I want to do, actually, I think what I'm going to do is white words. So you're not going to be able to see it for a second. And then the background, what I'll do is I'll do uh, kind of, maybe I'll do that same color that I, I did for the words here. So just so they match. So let's go ahead and grab the paint bucket. Yeah, I think I like that. So that's just really simple. Um, I didn't have to do a whole lot. And now that is good to go. So now I just have one more card to create. And it's going to be the thankful card. So for this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the cards white. I'm going to change I am thankful for to kind of a gray color. So I'll just do image adjustments, hue and saturation, and I'll just go to the lightness and change it so that it's a little bit lighter. I think around there is good. And then I'll move that over and size it down. And I just want it so that it's at the very top of the card so that I have room to write what I'm thankful for right below it. And I think that will be perfect. So um, let me just make sure that the tone of this works with my photo. And I think it does. I cropped my photo weird, so I'm going to have to crop it down a little bit more. And now what I'll do is I'll just print these off. I'm going to print the I am thankful for card several times. And then I will show you um, at the end of the video just the finished product because all I'm really going to do is slide cards in. So uh, I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. And then I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the finished product of the little kind of thankful insert that I created. And this would be a nice thing to do maybe every single month. Um, I'm thinking about it. I like the idea of putting the date on the side with each month and um, just thinking about being thankful every month for my life and for the things that I have in my life. So what I did was printed off all of those little cards. I filled these ones out. This goes front and back. So I filled out, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine things that I'm thankful for. I had two filler cards and one photo. And then what I did was I just added some sequins. Let me just put this on autofocus so that you can see these here. I added some sequins just to give the cards a little something extra. So there's these tiny little stars and then some little white sequins there. And then I put a little tiny star next to each thing that I'm thankful for. So I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for humor, thankful for my hobbies, Ariel, my cat, thankful for CJ, my friend, I'm thankful for adventure, specifically my upcoming cruise and the excursions that we have planned for that I'm really excited about. Um, I'm thankful for school, for my daughter, I'm thankful for Diet Dr. Pepper, and I'm thankful for learning and all of the things in my life that give me learning experiences. On this card that I printed, I went ahead and added this word yes. This was left over from my day in the life kit from the last day in the life that Allie had. And so I just added that and I popped it up on some thin foam and then I added the sequins around it as well. So um, really super, super simple 
layout, something I'm considering doing every single month. I liked this size too, the baseball card size. I ended up cutting off one row of, of the cards because it comes in a grid of nine. Um, so I cut off one row. This will be just a little insert in my album. Very, very simple to do. And I hope that you'll give something like this a try. And let me know if you have any questions. You can leave a comment below. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.